Hi there, everybody. Tal here. And today we're going to be talking about ascension, a term that I hear a lot. And I kind of want to unpack it and see what it actually means from a deeper perspective. Tune in. This is going to be so very interesting. Welcome back, Tal here, and welcome to Choosing to Connect, the place to love your life and live from love. And today we're talking about ascension. Now, when I started my spiritual journey, um, I certainly felt the darkness that is part of our current world, our current consciousness, our current situation. And I know that when you talk about ascension, you usually think about ascending or coming upwards right rising above this current state that we're in right now and moving up to higher levels of consciousness where things will be better more pleasant more full of light uh, more harmonious and so on and so forth and while that is true i want to talk a little bit about what that actually means what does that mean to rise higher or to gain higher levels of consciousness what is it exactly that needs to change within us for us to achieve it. So to, to really understand this, we first need to understand where consciousness comes from and how we were um, brought to the place that we are right now. How did this come to be, right? This reality, this life as we experience it right now, because it started way before we were born in this physical body. It all started before time even came into being uh, with a force, there was just this one force of love, of light that created our world, our reality. And what it actually created is a desire, a desire to receive pleasure that would be able to receive all of the light that it had to give and to do so with consciousness. We weren't just supposed to receive the light passively, but to elevate our consciousness until we can embody and become alike in equivalence to that higher power of love and giving, that higher consciousness. So to begin with, we began from a very uh, simple and undeveloped state of this desire at the Big Bang. And through those that process of evolution, those millions and millions of years, that desire evolved, you know, right? From the still level to the vegetative, to the animals and to humans what's consciously growing within us or evolving is that desire to receive pleasure. Or you could call it a consciousness of uh, individual self gain or self, I would say, uh, individuation in a more psychological term. And so if you look at a rock, right, you see that it's desire, it's, it's just much more simple, it's much more basic, it just wants to exist, right, to keep its molecules together. And then plants are already a more evolved desire, their desire to receive, to receive the light to receive life is, a, is more evolved, because they already have photosynthesis and more evolved processes that enable them to do more things, right, to procreate and to, to do more things. And then animals are even more evolved. They can move around, they can hunt, they can, uh, they, they have more evolved um, mechanisms. And of course, the human being is the most evolved creature. And what's important to know about this desire that evolved in us is that it's egoistic, it's individual, it's personal, individual, and it's completely focused on our personal survival. It's a consciousness of separateness where we experience ourselves within a physical body, in a physical reality, in a material world where everything is separate from everything else, when in truth, it's not so at all. So to ascend is to go to the next level of evolution where we rise above our current material perceptions of separateness into higher levels of consciousness where we begin to become more alike to that power that created us in the first place. This is where consciousness really begins to become self-aware, where we are kind of moving out of that process that we went through throughout history of unconscious evolution and suddenly beginning to awaken and ask the big questions like, who am I? Why am I here? What is this all about? And this question is really 
the spark, the beginning, the awakening of higher consciousness that is meant to lead us to become one with that higher power, one with our maker, with what we can call a field of love, of giving, of bestowal that is completely opposite to our current state, our current attributes. So if we want to shift out of our current level of consciousness and to begin to experience reality in a new way and perceive reality as it truly is, we need to become more and more alike to that field, to that higher power that created us, which means instead of focusing on ourselves and our personal survival, our personal well-being, our personal gain, instead of attracting, wanting to pull everything into ourselves, kind of like a black hole, we need to switch that around and begin to be more focused on what's outside of us, to want to give, to care more for what happens to other people and to identify with all that is outside of us as a part of us, because that is the truth. Our consciousness was really shattered when we came into this world. This was the birth of the ego. It's a shattering of our oneness into small, small little pieces that can only experience themselves in their own kind of little bubble that closes themselves off from others and from the true reality. So to ascend from that is to change our attribute from self-love to the love of others. Now, I know we often use that term self-love as something good that we want to achieve, but I talk about it in a kind of different way. When I say self-love, I mean self-focus. When we change our excessive focus on ourselves into our ability to focus on what's outside of us, we're actually leaping out of our kind of bubble or jail, you can call it, or prison of our ego into the consciousness of love, unity, and light. And it's that shift from self to others that can also heal a lot of the stress and negativity and judgment that we hold towards ourselves because we shift all that focus on me into a focus on love and connection, which naturally also heals all the negative aspects of that focus on myself. So that doesn't mean that I stop feeding myself or taking care of my body or my well being. No, it just means that I rise to a higher level of consciousness, which allows me to experience the oneness of all things and to identify more with that oneness more than I do with my ego. This is a great process. It's the process of our lives, of our eternal lives, of our souls. So there's a lot to talk about. And it's really something that we need to undergo together practically to get together in groups and really do this work together. And if you are interested in doing that, just, just leave me a comment or send me an email to choosingtoconnect.com so that we can start doing that kind of work together. But in any case, I, want to, I wanted you to really understand what that ascension means and that it's not just something that happens, you know, because, oh, I want to, you know, think something else. I want to meditate on uh, higher levels of reality and just achieve it in that way. It's a complete transformation of our inner mechanism from self-focus, from ego into love of others, connection with others and unity consciousness. So I hope that was interesting. If you have any questions, if you have any comments, leave them below, send me an email. I would love to connect with you. And please let's keep creating these discussions around our conscious evolution at this time, because we're all transitioning right now. You can feel that the world is changing, that the current state of the world is giving way for something new. And it's these higher levels of unity consciousness that are wanting to be born so that we begin to experience our, ourselves more and more as one global humanity, which is why we're now experiencing global challenges, global crises, so that we begin to experience ourselves, albeit in the negative way, as one thing. So we want to match up our consciousness to that external reality by being more unified and more caring and more loving in our thoughts and feelings towards others. So that's it in a nutshell. If we keep doing that work, if we keep gearing our thoughts in that direction, we'll be aligning with this evolution and helping it happen much more smoothly, much more quickly, and we'll be protecting ourselves from any unnecessary pressure to push us forward. 
So let me know what you thought. If you like this video, please press that like button, subscribe to my channel to know when new videos come out and let's keep in touch. I'll see you next time.